Hi beauties, we're here on this episode of Humanitarian Chronicles with none other than world-renowned skin expert and enthusiast, Dina Handley. I am so excited that you're here today, Dina, to tell us all the secrets about beautiful, vibrant, magical skin. Thank you for being here. Oh, Abby, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Yay! I'm so happy to have your glowing upper epidermis on our camera. And you can't even tell because Skype and the lighting and whatever, but Dina has the most incredibly gorgeous glowing skin. I met her in person. I had the honor, she's worldwide, and I had the honor of meeting her when she was doing a workshop in Los Angeles. So I got to see her beautiful glow in person, which is why she is sitting here today in front of us all. So Dina, what kind of secrets of the upper epidermis do you have to share with us? Oh, well, I really enjoy my life. About relaxation, eating great healthy food, taking care of yourself, your family, it's the key to beauty. Your Amen. skin is a reflection of who you are. So if you're enjoying yourself, you'll have beautiful skin, you'll have a beautiful life. And it's simple. Real, real good uh, quality products for yourself and uh, doing it on a daily basis, having a good practice. Okay, right on. And, I, and you know all this because you are an Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine practitioner specializing in skin. So how did you come to specialize in skin? How did this passion come about? Um, to be honest, I was born with eczema. Oh. So at a very young age, I had a skin condition. I was born and raised in Rhode Island. Uh, and Rhode Island is the ocean state. And I noticed as a girl, when I went to the ocean, my eczema would tear away. As I got older and I realized there was a connection between food and water and using the earth for healing, um, I cleared out my skin. And staying away at a young age, disciplining myself to stay away from food that activated my eczema. Right. And the reason... In the world, I was very interested in alternative healing. And I studied in college textiles. I was very, very curious on what I would put on my skin. So I, I was really into... Uh, spinning, weaving, and creating sculpture with silk. And I studied the world, uh, I traveled the world studying silk. And I realized, you know, what you put on your skin is also a, vibr a, a vibrancy. Um, and silk has the highest vibration. Wow, that is so interesting. And actually, that is part of my regimen with my clients too as a health coach. That's one of the first things I help them eliminate is toxic fabrics because it's on your biggest organ, going straight through your biggest organ, right into your bloodstream, and that blood pumps to all your organs. So one of the quickest ways to get healthy is just stop wearing polyfibers on your biggest organ and other toxic fabrics. That's also sunscreen, too. If you look at women around the world, like, you know, they put silk on so the sun can't penetrate and so can keep you very cool and, uh, you know, that's it. Yeah, and breathable. So can be used for warmth. As a vegan, um, I hate to admit that I have silk from the time before I was vegan, though, and I know it is breathable and it is gorgeous and it does feel incredible. I mean, it's luxurious. All the highest quality romantic sheets in the world are made from silk. So, I, you know, I hope there is like a non-torturing silkworm silk out there, and I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's conscious silk. In Portland, there's a conscious silk. Wow. Now in, in India, there's also making silk by not having to damage so wow. there are people, um, I don't have their names right now, but I've done this research also because I'm very interested in vegan diet and, um, you know, and the fabrics that are vegan. Yay, girlfriend. Oh, my gosh, silk. Secret number one, silk, baby. You want your skin to be silky? Wear silk. What goes on goes in, vibrates. Okay. Okay, yeah. awesome. Okay, what else? That's so interesting about the eczema. I mean, I know that a lot of babies have eczema now from, you know, the mothers who breastfeed when they're eating dairy and all kinds of toxic stuff going through their breast milk. The babies get eczema. It's an epidemic nowadays. So yeah. that is really cool. Yeah, so what is a cure for eczema? Because I have so many clients whose kids and themselves have eczema besides um, silk. Yeah, this is a really great thing. This is Udo's oil. And it's a balanced blend of 369. It's a vegetarian version, anti-inflammatory. So um, omega-6 is what the skin is lacking when you have eczema. Oh. And the source of omega-6 can be ethium primrose or borage oil. So this is a blend. 
And I was very fortunate to meet Udo Erasmus himself, the creator of this company. And I worked for Floor for nine years promoting their products because I so believe in them. And this really helps me out a lot. Wow. Um, so you eat so it. Medicine, you eat it. It's an oil. You can take it like medicine or you can put it on your food. It's great on a salad. It's great with uh, some vegan crackers. You know, with the avocado, it's just really great. And it has some oomph to it. I mean, you take this, you feel really full. And your skin is really nice. You create really nice skin. It's naturally anti-inflammatory. And it's really good. So people with eczema are usually lacking omega-6. Okay. And a version of omega-6 would be evening primrose or borage oil. Oh, yeah. I've heard so much about evening primrose and barrage oil. Um, just because I, I espouse not to eat oil... I want to say also to get omega three, six, and 9s, eat sunflower seed sprouts because all of the healthy omega three, six, and 9 oil from the sunflower seed goes up into the sprout. And algae, blue-green algae, yeah. where the fish get their shiny scales and coats, if you will, is from algae. So you want to be as shiny and slick as a fish, you eat what the fish eat. Algae. All right. So there's another suggestion, but awesome. I've heard so many good things about Udi, Udo, Udi's, Udo's, Udo. Udo's and oil. Laura also makes fun of BHA algae. Oh, right. I've heard of that brand too. Okay, cool. Or yeah, yeah that, that, right. A weeks ago, I made a product, I whipped shea butter, and it was for all the people with eczema. So shea butter is also a really excellent vegan source of um, an oil you can put on the skin, apply to the eczema. Um, it's beautiful for helping the skin to heal. Eczema is a congestion of the skin. Your body makes extra skin to protect itself. And um, it has to do with the nervous system, too, nourishing the nerves. You know, oats, oat straw tea, things that nourish the nerves and um, providing minerals to the body will help the skin in, with that uh, condition of eczema. Psoriasis is the same. It's, your skin is screaming for minerals. We need re 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 remineralization, right? That makes perfect sense. It's all an inside job. As within, yes. so without. It's great because that's a really good source of the essential fatty acids. It's also a vegan source of vitamin C. Uh, the oat straw? The sunflower seeds. Oh, sunflower seed sprouts. Yes. Right. Sunflower yes. seed sprouts, sunflower sprouts. Amazing, amazing. I've helped many, many people cure all their health conditions, but specifically skin conditions through just eating mostly sunflower sprouts. So go for it, homies. Juice it, eat it, suck it down. Get it in an IV, whatever you have to do, but get it in. Okay, that is awesome. You're just confirming. You're just confirming. Thank you. Okay, so we've got eczema covered. We've got psoriasis covered. Yeah, anything, whenever we eat clogging, mucus-forming foods, it's going to come out on our skin. And tell me if I'm correct here, but I've researched that the skin is our first alert system. So if our, if our body's working properly, when we do get acne or a rash or eczema or psoriasis, it's actually our body's first alert before it starts taking it out, you know, forming cancer or destroying our kidneys and liver. Is that right? Well, the liver forces its toxins of the large intestine, but also through the blood, through the skin. So Got you're it. right. It's our alert system that we want to kind of clean up our diet a little bit, have the elimination work better, have digestion work a little bit better. Um, also, our skin, you know, it's a microcosm within a macrocosm. Where the macrocosm meets uh, the microcosm, that's our skin. So we're connected to the earth and that. And so sometimes it's not only the food we eat, but how we're treating ourselves, our body, our life, what climate that we're in. And hormones play a big role in acne and skin imbalances. So hormones, sometimes it's hard to work with um, a teenager going to puberty, let's say, you know, to kind of clean up their liver. You know, they're going to have some outbreak. But if they could use their menstruation as a way for detoxification, if they could use healthy diet right before they menstruate, that will really help clear up Oh yeah, can you please talk to us about healthy ways ways to get healthy hormones? Like instead of eating hormone injected meat and dairy, like how do you how do we get healthy hormones or what can we eat to balance our own hormones? Uh, balancing our hormones has a lot to do with the, um, the exercise. You know, nourishing all the glandular system. Seaweed is particularly good for the thyroid, and a lot of women have problems with their adrenals and with their thyroid, and there's a good connection with those. And seaweed, you know, really all the minerals from the sea, uh, minerals are going to help balance um, hormones. Awesome. Minerals are going to help balance blood. Um, I have this uh, isotonic mineral formula for testing. This is a really, really famous and popular in France. And we are blessed in the U.S. I think it's from our 
chiropractor or whatnot, but there's these glass vials, and this is seawater, basically. It has all the elements from the periodic table except the gases. And taking these daily or a really high-quality liquid uh, multi-mineral, that will help balance our blood, which in turn will help balance our hormones. But again, we're working with the glandular system when we want to balance the hormones. And in yoga, we're doing these things to balance the chakras, and the chakras do correlate to the Oh my gosh, you are you are a font of knowledge, sister. I love. I've heard so much about. Is it pronounced kintone? Kintone. Yeah. Kintone. Yeah. I've heard so much about it throughout the years, and I've never myself invested in it. But absolutely, the more minerals, vitamins, enzymes, phytonutrients we can ingest, the healthier all of our organs will be, including our biggest one, our skin. So that makes perfect sense. Oh my gosh, thank you for bringing that to my alert system. All right, so um, oats. Uh, sea, sea minerals, especially, and I love that the kin tone is in glass because right. if you can talk a little bit about plastic, speaking of messing up our skin and our hormones. Right, plastic, estrogen. You know, uh, microwave oven, estrogen. There's too much estrogen, not the really good kind of estrogen that we need um, in our environment. So drinking out of plastic bottles over time will really be not so good. Using the microwave all the time is not so great. Once in a while, we're okay, you know. But just when you want to, when you want to think about your skin you know, breaking and all that back up, then you need to be a little stricter with it, you know. Right. But true balance and true nature, we want to be able to dip in and dip back. You don't want to stay on a pendulum of balance. So you know, when we get extreme, you know, we might touch our nervous system, our our adrenal system. We want to stay in that kind of balance in this way. Awesome. With, you know, with everything. And that is really our skin reflects um, who we are and how we, how we can uh, heal and adapt to stress and strain. Amen. Amen. It's so true because when I got really clean with my diet, I bruised less. My acne scars cleared up. Um, I had like liver spots. They went away. They're going away. Um, but yeah, can you talk a little bit about that? A lot of my clients deal with rosacea and skin discolorations, liver spots, age spots. What can we do for that topical or internally? Again, alkali system. A lot of these are from too much acid or heat in the body. Hmm. Heat. Body, active food, um, alcohol, coffee, sugar, those are all really heating and acidic, um, and they show up on the skin and they show up in our life as stress. You know, so cooling your system down, cooling the body down. Meditation really helps a lot with balance for the spirit and helps with the, with the skin. And um, yeah, so we're talking about uh, cleaning the face with something basic, cleaning the body with things that are really clean and easy, keeping it clean. It clean. And also, we're happier. You know, we're yeah. happy when we feel good. You know, we're doing all this for our ultimate happiness. You know, and make it simple, make it easy, not make it overwhelming. Right. So, I want to talk about a few things to clean your skin with. First, clean the skin with the body. Um, when I was traveling Greece, you know, many years ago, I uh, I came, found the uh, olive oil soap. Really kissed my face. You know, it's really, really reasonable. Uh, a soap that is just oil that nourishes the skin and doesn't um, provide. Uh, too much uh, abrasion or acid like that. And uh, I have I have a whole table full of things that I like to use that are really simple. A uh, shout out to a peach scent. You know, it's a really beautiful light uh, cleanser. What is you know, it? Cucumber, rose, you know, it's just really nice. Essential oils, this is just a really clean uh, cleanser. It has algae, acai, the fruit enzymes from the uh, super, uh, the super antioxidant fruit, right? Yay. Um, being one of them, um, uh, vitamin C, I've got this really great rose hip seed oil, this is the fruiting body, this is a really great pie, this is a really great company from uh, London, um, Osea, you know, another beautiful line that uses the sea, they use yes. seaweed in their products, and seaweed helps to stimulate and nourish uh, collagen and uh, nourish the layers of the skin. Really I good. love Osea, I'm from Malibu and so is that founder, I love that company. So, yeah, and I, I'd like to um, just spend a moment talking about taking care of the skin with Ayurveda. You know, Ayurvedic products, um, Ayurvedic practices. Abhayanga is an Ayurvedic pro uh, practice where you put oil on the skin. So you're putting oil on your body and touching your skin and nourishing your nerves and your immune system and just um, kind of bathing the skin with oil. 
And then I use a garbanzo bean flour to take off the, the oil. Wow. And uh, this is a really therapeutic ancient practice that's done in the fall. And it's done with a warm oil. Um, and the oil is really good for cleaning the skin, nourishing the nervous system, and again, nourishing the immunity and immune system. So it's a really nice way to um, take care of the skin, take care of the spirit, you know, um, and give some, some love and attention to your skin. What kind of oil? I mean, Udo's, can you... It, it's the, um, the sesame oil is used traditionally. But one of my favorite oils I've been using lately is the Osea. Oh. And this is uh, Udaria oil. And this is a really nice light oil. It's um, it's actually made by been, uh, soaking the seaweed for over 30 days. Wow. Sunflower oil starts soaking seaweed. And so you get a lot of the minerals from the sea, from the seaweed, directly on the skin. This is infused with some essential oils, um, uh, some citrus essential oils. Many years ago, I made my own, um, uh, but, uh, Sarah, this was the Abayanga oil. This one is uh, sesame, sunflower, and it has some oat oil. Mm. I actually purchased some oat oil in Denmark. So that is added also. And this is, these are gummy, rich, oily, uh, just, just, it's like giving the skin a, something really nice. Three, three, it's here. just everything opposite. Any, this is what I tell everybody. Whatever you've learned in the Western culture, it's the opposite. Like <laughs> noxema, clean your skin, scrub it until you don't even have that upper layer anymore. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Make sure it's sudsy and foamy and scrub, scrub, scrub. No, we need to be gentle. We need to cleanse with oil instead of removing our oil. It's like opposite of everything I've ever been taught. And of course, ever since I've been doing practices, I'm definitely going to start doing the garbanzo bean flour like you've taught me and the healthier oils now that I've learned today. Um, but yeah, ever since I stopped like over cleansing, my skin has gotten just so much better, so much better. And actually, I have a question that I want to know for myself and my clients. For people who wear makeup, A, I want to know what kind of makeup you approve of, the purest, cleanest makeup. B, how, what wipes do you approve of, if any? C, do we use oil to makeup remove? And D, what about, um, there's like that controversy about don't wash your face with water because it's drying. So how do we remove makeup is really what I'm asking, healthfully okay. for the skin. So um, I have my beautiful sister here to help me with this. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, oh my what? gosh. I'm going to show her and show you and show everybody what's over here. So this is Tia. Hi. Hi, Hi sister. Hi. Wow, we have a real life model. Yeah. Hi. 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 Oh my gosh. Is it genetic or is it Ayurvedic skincare? <laughs> Hi, beauties. So she comes in with a wet face. Um, and this is what you would do. I have garbanzo bean flour that I actually ground in my Vitamix shirt. Nice. So, do you soak and sprout and dry the garbanzo beans, or do you just blend them dry? I blend the dry garbanzo beans. And so you blend it, and then you form this little paste by putting it on a wet skin. And you can put this on with makeup. You know, when you have makeup on, you wet, wet your face. And the garbanzo bean flour is a nice medium to remove things and not to take too much out. If you don't want to disturb the natural protective layer of the skin, which right. is called the what does the garbanzo bean flour have in it that doesn't, you know, slough off too much of the natural oils? Uh, that's the beauty secret. We don't know. In India, they, a woman uses this for her um, face before she gets married with a little turmeric in it. Oh, nice. So turmeric is anti-inflammatory. The um, garbanzo bean is balanced. It's not too acidic. It's not too alkaline. It's a balanced medium. And you know, if you're wheat-free and gluten-free, garbanzo bean is a really great medium. So we need to put a towel on me. But now, so here's the face, and then we're going to have her go in the bathroom and we move it around, add a little more water, and then simply rinse it off. So we'll, we'll see you in a little bit. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I just wanted to show you how to apply it, because I've given this to my students, and they go home, and they're like thinking they need to make a paste or a mask, and you know, you can just use it every day as a wash. Okay. Well, on the skin. Right. Put it, pat it on, exfoliate. Wash it off. It doesn't take too much off, and it, it doesn't leave you dry or too oily. It's a very good medium. It's a very good medium, and uh, very balancing and tonifying for the skin. Okay. Uh, back to your question about makeup. I would use the makeup from Europe. Any Europe.
German company, um, Dr. Hauschka and Marie Borland, they go through different certifications than the U.S. does, and they're a lot cleaner. Okay. You know? So those are the makeup lines I would recommend. Um, perhaps a makeup line from Japan or somewhere that's, you know, high quality, high end. Is also well, you don't know. Uh -huh. Dina doesn't. I honestly, when I met Dina, I asked her, what makeup are you wearing? And she's like, uh, none. None. I'm like, how? That's the, that's the question. I mean, we can really just stop this whole video right now. I just want one answer to this question. How do we get baby's butt skin? That's what I want. And that's what Dina has. And that's why she's on the show. We work from the inside out, Abby. Right. We do uh, pranayam, a yoga practice, but mainly the meditation and the breath work. Bringing oxygen to the cells, you know, taking time to calm and just really, I mean, again, your skin is showing what you're doing in your life, what you're doing, what stresses you out. It's showing on the skin. So if you can take time every day for some breath work, meditation, yoga, nice walk on the beach, put yourself in nature and you will reflect that. You oh. know, that's, that's my, that's my ultimate beauty. You will reflect what you are, and you will reflect nature. And we are part of that great larger planet of the cosmos. We're a microcosm within a macrocosm. And when the macrocosm, the larger world, is in, in our microcosm, when that meets, that's our skin. That's the layer in between. And that's who we are. That so is so beautiful. Life. Reflect that in your face. Reflect that in your body. Reflect that in your actions. You know, we all work from the inside out. We all be in a great place. And be able to share and laugh. And laugh yes. with each other. And laugh. Yes! Laughter, <laughs> beauty secret. Forget the garbanzo flower, honey. Laughter trumps everything. Okay. Humor laughter healing trumps. humanity. And well, laughter what? Is deep. Laughter is a really great party on. You know, there's a lot of laughing yoga now. You know, there's a lot of laughter. And there should be a lot of laughter in the world. Because we're really laugh together. We need help clean the pores, clean the skin, clean the liver, get it out. Totally, sister. Well, yeah. do you have any videos or gurus gurus that you can recommend our viewers to watch to get into that state of laughter yoga, kriyas that you recommend, books? How well, did you get... you're my guru, Abby. Right now, you're my guru. You're, oh. uh, you're really beautiful. And I'm really happy you're giving this information to people and provide such a wonderful service for people. You know, um, Abby will look at your diet, your life, she'll help you in so many ways. And I think... You know, doing the work you're doing and the great service you're doing, you know, that, that makes me feel like you're, you know, one of my gurus, one of my sisters. Oh, sister, namaste. The divine in me salutes the divine in you. You are my guru. That is why you are here. I am so grateful that we have connected. Ah, uh, we are each other's gurus. Seriously. Well, then this video, then that's the answer. This video, watch this video, obviously. But, I mean, you know, like I've watched Yogi Bhajan. I've watched Moji or, you know, I, I mean... I just, I always love recommendations, um, books on CD to listen to, check them out from the library for free. But yes, there are so many amazing books and YouTube videos that you can go YouTube, Google, and just check out like how to center ourselves, how to get more oxygen, more pranayam, uh, do your morning kriyas, whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get your body more oxygenated, which right. will reflect itself in your skin, I guess is what you're saying. Well before you walk in front of your ancestors. You know, use your people. Use your people. Learn from your history. Learn from your people. A lot of these things are hereditary. I mean, a lot of times they, you look like your family, you look like your sister, you inherit the same skin. Watch what they do. Watch what they eat. Use your family. If you, you know, like what they look like. If not, there's always epigenetics, which so trumps genetics. Right. We're working together with our family. We're right. talking with our sisters, and we're seeing what works them and what doesn't work for them, and I'm really happy to share this information, but what I've learned over time, studying different modalities from India, or China, or Korea, or Cambodia, all these places, I've traveled and I've gone to my own roots, and my family is teaching me the most, you know, go to your people, what they eat, how they act, what they do, this is how we are healthy, and get close to your roots, you know, if we're walking in front of our ancestors, we're, they're carry, we're carrying on their legacy. You know, so be you, be your people, be who you are. Don't reach out for something that you're not. Oh, you know, you're that's so that's amazing. Me. Great, for great. A, that makes me feel good. That makes me really happy to be able to share that. That's so beautiful. If you're proud of your lineage, be proud of, pride will show in your skin. Pride, self-love, self-acceptance. Yeah, even if you're not happy with your family, be friendly to them. Be 
friendly with your life. Let them know who you are and, and that you're, you're their friend, you know? And I think that's, that's a healthy thing. Oh, that gosh. That occupies the liver. That's really nourishing for the kidneys. Kidneys are about fear. Liver is about anger. In Chinese medicine, those emotions are associated with these organs. So, yeah. And here I thought we'd get some kind of quick quick fix secret like we want in the West. <laughs> I mean, we got the garbanzo bean flour, we got the oil suggestion, but now I hear that we need to make peace with our ancestral lineage and we need to embrace our roots and accept our family. I thought it was going to be a quick fix. I thought we... No, I'm kidding. Season. I mean, we're in the season. That's so right. I'm teaching That's classes right. on seasonal Ayurveda, seasonal healing, seasonal ways to adapt, and this is the season to go through. This week is especially, you know, the, the solstice, you know, the holidays happening in this, in this week. This is a really time to go deep. This is a re the real time to go deep. The most right. time of all the days of the year is right now, right here, right now. Winter solstice, so baby. The people that you love, be with the people that you're from, where you came from. So really good. It's so really healthy. That's so beautiful. Okay. Uh, and isn't that a quick, easy secret? It um, is. It is. Self-love, self-acceptance, which includes your tribe, your family, your ancestors, your lineage, our sisters, you're my sister, acceptance, love, embracing roots, embracing nature, walking barefoot, hugging a tree, smiling, laughing, breathing deeply, healthy air, please, God. Um, but I love it. Oh, my gosh. Let's see this bright, brilliant sister we were just talking about. Yeah, girlfriend, you look gorgeous. Thank You're you glowing. Know. Okay, that's hereditary. No, it's garbanzo. So yeah, then, yeah. okay, so in terms of cleansing with garbanzo, okay, can you just give us a quick rundown of the regimen? Like, what is your daily skincare regimen? So after you cleanse with garbanzo, then what? Oh, so this is a nice nurse toner. Toner. You know, I have the Emmerich Borland, the German one. Um, this is a really nice toner. So a toner is a middle step. So there's a cleanser, a toner, and the toner helps neutralize the pH so that the body, um, you never want to put cream on dry skin. You never want to put oil just on dry skin. You want to use a toner, something to really freshen up the skin. Got it. So you use a toner, and then you can put a cream or an oil, whatever you choose, and then you can put your makeup on top of that. Okay. And, or you can put your sunscreen on top of that. So you want to have a little protection before we put our sunscreen directly on the skin. Sunscreen usually contains chemicals, and we don't want that right on the skin. That's what so I was going to say. I was going to say we need uh -huh. full-spectrum sunlight. Run as fast as you can from sunscreen. Sun helps this entire planet grow. It's the most nourishing thing on Earth. Um, yeah, I think the liver and the anger causes uh, wrinkles and skin discolorations more than sun. I'm a huge advocate of never using sunscreen myself. Obviously, if you're going to be out in the sun in the Caribbean for five hours straight, put a healthy sunscreen like Badger. But if you're not going to be out in the sun or just, you know, moderation, just 15 minutes a day, underarms, lymph drainage, groinal regions, you need to get your full body in the sun. Oh, speaking of other skin, I'm sorry, I totally, so yes, cleanse with garbanzo and then it's, oh, silk. Okay. To protect the skin from the sun and you won't get too hot. Great. Hot fiber. And a hat is really great. I learned that the hard way in Greece. You know, I just have a hat, got a little heat stroke. Just getting the head that hot is so great. So a hat. Great. Yeah. And it protects your hair. So Good. keep your hair shiny just like your skin. Good. Oh my gosh. Dina's the all around infomer infomercial here skin and hair. Hello. It's all part of the plan, it's all part of the same system. Okay. So cleanse with garbanzo flour. Uh, tone, tone with tone. with rose water based so high yeah. vibration rose. This is really nice to hold the moisture into the skin. Um, you know, seaweed is also really great. Some seaweed. Um, this is a nice little gel with some seaweed in it as a toner. And then you can use um any cream. And again, use your intuition. Go by the smell. Go by the feel. Maybe your sister's got one you like. Maybe your mother's got one. You know, or you know, like that. And just see what you like. You've got to like the smell of it. You've got to like the feel of it. Also, you need to type your skin. Is my skin normal or is it dry? If you, you know, have a lot of wrinkles, it tends to be drier skin. If your pores are large, that tends to be oily skin. You know, normal skin, you want it to breathe. So nothing too heavy on the skin. Okay. Yeah. 
So then, yeah, that's so simple. And then for cleansing, a cream cleanser over a gel because it's less stripping. Or garbanzo, garbanzo flour, better. It's all around, you know, and you can also use clay. If you have oily skin, Ooh. you can use a cleanser that has clay in it. Clay is oh. earth, and this is a really nice way to pull all the things out of uh, oily skin. So oily skin has, tends to have larger pores, and clay is a way to deeply pull those um, impurities out of the skin. Awesome. If you have, um, you know, uh, dry skin, you want to use something that's not too dehydrated, so something that has seaweed or something with a little more oil content to it, that would be good. There's awesome. so many products on the market now. And there's a lot of vegan. And again, I put a plug in for Osea, which is a vegan product. I love yeah. Osea. I love it. Hometown. It's my hometown product, baby. Made with love in the sun, in the boo. Salt water. The what's It's what healed your eczema. So, I mean, the salt water and a healthy life. Breathing the salt water. Time of year, you know, or any time when we want to dress up for the holidays to be here. Uh, Lauren B is a great woman, and she's local here in California, and she is uh, devoted to healthy nail care, and she's got a really great line. Of, um, there's 72 colors now in her collection. Wow. Line, and she's got a nice uh, base that you put on your nails, and then the color, and then the top coat. And these are all breathable, wonderful um, colors that she's made without using lots of chemicals. Yay. So you know, and like I said, the makeup from Europe or somewhere else would be great. Check out the ingredients and all that. But the nail polish is that. Uh, great. Great. Yeah. Okay. You're so amazing, Dina. I just so appreciate you. Our I'm Ayurvedic right. Chinese medicine skin expert and enthusiast. And can you please tell our viewers your upcoming workshops in 2017 for the um, new year? So we have the Chinese New Year coming up early in January. Usually uh, Chinese New Year is like February. So the Chinese New Year is the year of research coming up on January 28th. Woo! And my will be on Thursday, January 26th at 6.30 in Venice. Nice. And Venice, California. Venice, California. And then it will be the first Thursday of March, April, and May. And uh, Ayurvedic uh, time of year is the water element. We'll talk about kapha. And the foods and that we can use for the spring diet, uh, our most optimal foods and dietary practices for the spring. You're amazing. So, oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, how can people find out about this? Do you have a Facebook page or how? Um, do you know, I use the email. So my name is Dina, D I N A, Handley, H A N D L E Y, at gmail.com. Yes. Dina Handley at gmail.com. Very simple. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about anything, I'm really happy to offer it and keep uh, help to heal. You know, I'm a healer. Everybody reach out to Dina. Get a private consultation with her. She is extremely knowledgeable above and beyond this very short clip of little tidbits of everything she knows. But when you meet with her personally, she can assess your own skin, your own doshas, your own you know, meridians and see where you stand, what you need, and what will benefit your gorgeous skin most. And of course, this is what all inquiring minds want to know. And I get emails on my website constantly. Here's our last question for Dina. What do we use for the personal skin regions? Like say for lube. I, I, I get that question all the time. What is yeah. a non-toxic, non-petroleum based, gentle on the, the uh, nether regions for skin? Coconut oil. Coconut oil? Yeah, coconut oil is fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, but that dissolves condoms. That's, the, that's one of the problems. The other thing that matches the pH of the vagina is hazelnut oil. Right! Hazelnut oil! See, Dina was, knows everything. I mean, this yeah. is just what my what people on my website email me about, like as a health practitioner. a lot of, you know, And it's an inside yeah. job. It's also what we eat if we're eating nourishing, enlivening, uh, proper balanced, uh, pH balanced foods. We're not going to have that problem. But if you do, for some reason, A, you're probably not with the right partner. B, hazelnut oil. Yes, and also, you know, dehydration of the tissue. So those private parts and that is dehydration of the tissues. Again, in the minerals. You know, the taking minerals, getting proper high, um, uh, uh, water, enough water, you know, being hydrated. And um, uh, the minerals hold, up, hold the water. A lot of people say they drink a lot of water and they drink a lot of coffee. Coffee's taking the water out. You want to have nice mineral balance. And uh, dryness with estrogen as we get older, just less, less estrogen makes us a little bit drier, but staying hydrated, keeping those essential fatty acids going, 
you know, eat avocado, eat those really, you know, macadamia nuts, eat those really rich, oily, fatty foods. That's really good for um, hydration and, uh, and lubrication. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Angel. You are <laughs> just really such a wealth of knowledge, Dina. I'm so grateful that you came on the show today so we could pick your gloriously shiny brain under that gloriously shiny hair. You are just such a light unto the nations. Thank you. You are truly a humanitarian that needs to be chronicled. And I really encourage everybody to get in touch with Dina, attend one of her workshops. They are extremely educational. Um, like I said, more individualized and so much more important information than just this brief video. And yeah, like email Dina, Dina Handley at gmail.com. Get your guidance from Dina and watch this video five times so you can figure out what to do. And I'll, I'll write your email in the uh, comments below. You can subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos and like this video if you like what we have to say and share about skin. And you guys stay healthy and vibrant and cleansed and beautiful. Do you have any last words for our viewers, Dina? Oh, thank you, Abby. And thanks to Abby for her services. She's a wonderful healer also. Oh, babe. And it's beautiful that you're giving this information out to people, Abby. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. We're just sharing secrets sharing secrets with the masses. Everybody, love you lots. Happy holidays. Happy, happy winter solstice. Stay glowing and brilliant.